Okay, YouTube, now I don't just do cold starts for your uh, particular amusement. There's also a very good reason for me to do cold starts um, that, that has to do with storing vehicles and, and uh, making sure that they're going to be ready to run. Uh, for starters, fuel-injected vehicles, if you let old stale gas sit in the tanks too long, a lot of times they'll gum up the, the fuel pump. I've had this happen a lot. So if you keep the fuel pump so it's free and moving, you want to keep your injectors so that they're clicking and going. The other thing that's really important about this is, uh, is seals. When a seal sits without oil or moisture of some kind, well not moisture, but some kind of lubrication on it for too long, they'll dry out and they'll start to leak. So it's a good idea when you got vehicles that you don't drive all the time like we do, Make sure that they keep started and running on occasion, you know, even once every two months, you know, is pretty decent to do. You know, I like to try and do it about once a month or so. Um, the other thing, like that Lincoln, has air ride shocks, and if you let them sit down with the air out for too long, that rubber will get dry rotted and then you'll have air suspension problems, which we definitely don't want in a Lincoln. But, anyways, so there's my major reasons for doing cold starts out here today. Uh, aside from the fact that you guys have all requested many of them, and since we're no longer on the farm, it's not a daily affair. So, hey, it's like a cold start special, huh? So, let's uh, pop a battery in Phil's Bronco, and we can see what happens here. There's a method to my madness. Batteries out here that are on the ground are bad batteries. Batteries that are in a vehicle, whether the vehicle runs or not, are good batteries, usually. That's kind of just my way of knowing what I got for good batteries. So, I guess we got the battery in it. Let's uh, go ahead and try it out. gas no oh okay well that was the LeBaron to start. Oh. There it goes again. I 
love how it just wraps itself up. This this one's always kind of been a bugger. I don't know what's up with it. I know the motor's got a freaking million miles on it. It's over 200,000. I think it's like 250 or 60,000 miles on the motor that we got in it now. But, uh, I mean, it usually starts. It's just a matter of short bursts and then getting it to go rut, 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 rut. <laughs> but, uh, I guess it's going now. That's a plus. So, it's the end of our cold starts. Until another video, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. <laughs>